Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. This is The Game Economist, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new teaser trailer for the Sword and Shield and the Dual Blade. So this is being released on Capcom's Twitter, and yesterday we had Longsword and Greatsword. I kind of wanted to talk about something, by the way. So people were concerned when I was saying that Capcom may be getting rid of Foresight Slash for the Longsword, and a lot of people said, no, this will just be added to the moveset. I just wanted to say, we don't actually know that. So what we know is that the weapons are getting reworked. We don't know if you're going to be able to use the old moveset for these weapons. And what's obvious is that we do have new movesets, but the question is, do the old movesets remain? And again, we just don't know that. Okay, so people were upset when I said the new Foresight Slash looks like it's going to have a longer windup than the old Foresight Slash. Maybe it'll be balanced out by doing more damage than the old Foresight Slash, but we don't know. And I was suggesting that Foresight Slash was a little too easy and that I would be okay with it being more difficult if that's what the new moveset was. All right, so that was for the Longsword from yesterday. If you missed that video, I'll leave a link to it in the comment section. Now, for today, we're gonna to be talking about the Sword and Shield and the Dual Blades. Let's start with the Sword and Shield. So during the Spring Developer Update that we had just a little while ago, the developers were talking about how all the weapons are going to be able to use slinger pod ammo and you're going to be able to use items without having to sheath your weapon. So everybody jokingly laughed that now sword and shield is going to be terrible, right? The sword and shield is going to have to be reworked because the one thing that it had an advantage in, and that is not having to sheath to use items, is no longer an advantage. All the weapons are going to be able to do it in Iceborne. So with the teaser trailer, we're all wondering, well, does it do something new? Does it do something that makes it powerful in a different way? And I want to say that the trailer didn't really answer that question. Uh, it begins with him suggesting, yeah, you're going to be using the clutch claw, you're going to be shooting a lot of uh, slinger ammo, I suppose, but we don't really know what that means in terms of optimal damage output. What What is the flavor of this weapon? What is it going to actually be? He emphasizes versatility once again. He says that right off the bat. And honestly, I don't feel like versatility was really helping the sword and shield in the base game. Nobody really cares about versatility. They want the weapon to do something really specific that it does better than the other weapons. So just saying versatility, kind of that kind of worries me a little bit. Uh, and then when you look at the moveset being used in the trailer, it, it really just does pretty much exactly what the sword and shield does now. So it's able to leap into the fight, take fast jabs at the monster, and then it's able to leap back out of the fight. This is something that the Sword and Shield basically already does. It does have a back hop, so the back hop doesn't necessarily take you out of the fight, but, it, you know, it, the back hop actually does have iframes when you're using it, so kind of it does, if you're timing it correctly. Uh, the other thing I noticed is it does look like the Sword and Shield has a latch move now using the Clutch Claw. Uh, it leaps up into the air when Legion is up in the air, right? So that looked fun. I just don't know if that's actually going to be... I don't know highly damaging <laughs> it would have to be a really strong move for speedrunners to actually consider using it and no the game shouldn't only be played according to how a speedrunner plays it but the the thing that's interesting about speedrunners is they figure out what the best move set is for weapon so if you want to feel good and you want to feel powerful with your weapon you often examine what's working for them and then you copy it a little bit and you you can improvise a bit because you're not trying to get a perfect uh, fin completion time, but you, at the same time, you don't want to use a moveset that makes no sense to move. It just doesn't do quite as much damage at all, right? See what I'm saying? It's kind of the same with weapons in Monster Hunter World. You don't intentionally use a weaker weapon when you have a stronger one in the same, you know, it's right there just waiting to be used. All right, so that's, that's the Sword and Shield. I'm a little concerned about it. It was not actually looking like it was that much different from the Sword and Shield we have now. Uh, the Clutch Claw is here, uh, but it seems like the Clutch Claw is almost like a buff for all the weapons and not really anything unique happening with the Sword and Shield. We'll have to see. Remember, these are teaser trailers. We'll learn more about it later. If you don't like my assessment, you know, I, I'm just telling you how you know what I what I saw from the teaser trailer I want everything to be fun in the game including the longsword I think people are really mad that I said foresight slash might be too strong <laughs> a lot of longsword users out there we know there are because it's the most popular weapon in the game moving on to the dual blades so with the dual blades what we saw in the teaser trailer here is pretty much everything we already knew from the spring developer update the same way it was when we saw the great sword yesterday so uh, you're able to dodge in the middle of your attack combination and during the dodge you can actually fire a slinger pod that's pretty cool they do show him firing a slinger pod and immediately paralyzing Odo Garen. and the knives on the side of the body of the character make me think that we're going to have throwing knives be 
part of the game more than they were in the base game, that's a good thing. The, the, the knives were basically unused in most hunting in the base game. So the idea of maybe bringing them to regular hunts for Iceborne, you know, is a way for them to take an asset that's already in the game and make it interesting again, right? So that's really good of them. Uh, the other thing that we see, again, is this move where the dual blades latch onto the monster and then they have a combination while they're latched onto the monster. So maybe they have this new latching attack, kind of like the Sword and Shield has a new latching attack, but honestly, it's looking more and more, because of the Clutch Claw, like all of the weapons have a new latching attack, and uh, maybe they're just hiding a lot of the new movesets up their sleeves right now. I'm hoping that's kind of the case. They, they're just showing off the Clutch Claw a lot. Clutch Claw looks really fun. I'm just ready for more details than what they're showing. It's a teaser, what do you, what do you expect? So yeah, everything we already knew about the Dual Blades from the Spring Developer update is here. It looks fun. Uh, hopefully we get another two weapons tomorrow. The last thing I wanna say is people were talking about how good the new armor looks, and they were like, why didn't you mention the armor? Well, it's simple. Back when Monster Hunter the base game was going to launch, they showed off a lot of armor then. And it turned out most of the armor they showed us was actually really weak. It, it wasn't anything you ever used for a long time. You certainly don't use it now. I'm kind of guessing they're doing that again. And it's kind of sad. So if you like the armor you're seeing now, get ready for Heartbreak because you're probably not going to use that armor for very long. That's my suspicion. What really should be going on with the armor, Monster Hunter World should be taking the armor and you should have to use different armor sets for every monster you fight and every weapon you use. That's not really the case. Right now, everyone just uses the Draken set, the Teostra set, the Zenajiva set. That's what we do in the base game. So hopefully we see some more uh, armor variety. And if you want to talk about fashion, all they have to do is make all the armor in the game a layered armor set, but they haven't done that and we don't know why. So hopefully they'll do that in Iceborne, but until we know, I'm not really going to comment on the armor or really worry about the armor. All right, so that's my coverage. I, I talked a little bit about the longsword again. We covered the uh, sword and shield, and then we covered the dual blades. All right, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.